But hey, what's going on? It's Ty Cole here with BET.com and Zendaya. Hi. How are you? I'm good. I love your tennis fit. Thank you. You're Shout out to my stylist, Esther. <laughs> now, one thing that I love about this film is like, you know, it has like this 80s techno feel instrumental mm. that is heard throughout like a lot of the scenes. Yeah. So tell me like, what was the reasoning for having this particular track and how do you think that it helped with the storytelling? Well, that was all Luca. I think he, he said he wanted this feeling, like he wanted the movie to feel and the music to feel like, you know, uh, a soda on a hot summer day that you just Ooh. want like to be refreshed by. And um, he had this amazing idea of making it this like, almost like he's like you wanted like dance music, like rave music, you know? And and it's so interesting because it, it adds such a tension and an intensity to the scenes. Like it almost mimics the sound of like a tennis back and forth, you know? Um, and I've had the privilege of watching it many times, mm -hmm. but like when I watched it earlier, um, it didn't have the music yet. Yeah. And then, and I still loved it. And yeah. so the addition of the music just adds such a, You're such a pulse. Yeah. Like I was literally like this, my boyfriend, like, oh my God, what's gonna happen next? <laughs> like, it yeah. was that good. Now, in the film, what I also love too was like, you know, Tashi, she's a mom. Mm. So she has so many responsibilities at once for her. Now, while you're not a mom, you play one in this film, how did you tap into that motherly like instinct and that role mm. that Tashi had to showcase? And did that kind of make you a bit intrigued on like what motherhood could look like for you? Yeah, I mean, for sure. I've always, you know, thought about that. I love the idea. I've, I love kids um, and want kids one day. Mm -hmm. um, but I have, I guess I, I, I could say that like, you know, I have little nieces and nephews and they're like my borrowed kids. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I can you have that? them and then yeah. they can go back to their parents. Um, so I guess it, there, there's something there, but I think, you know, with Tashi, I think it's important to see her as a mother because you see her tenderness and you see mm -hmm. her, her, um, her fragility when she's with her, her daughter. And so you know that it's not just all hard, you hardcore. know, hardcore the whole, all the time. You know, there's there's a center, a gooey center in her. Yeah, I feel like you will be such a fun mom. Like you well, gave me fun, you. cool mom. You want to get ice cream and stuff like that. Yeah. That's what it is. I like. hope so, one day. I think you will. Now, your bestie Darnell, which I love, he's in the mm -hmm. film. Now, tell me this, like, how was it working with your BFF? Because I'm <laughs> sure that was so much fun on set. It was. And how does it feel to know that you can put, like, your friends in those positions like that? Well, I mean, truthfully, he was cast by Luca. It was Luca who asked me to ask him mm -hmm. if he would do it because he said, I feel like he has a spirit of truth and justice. Yeah. Um, and so uh, I, I, I was really, really excited about the idea because it's funny, we, me and Darnell, we met on set. Like he was my stand-in back on Casey Undercover and that's mm -hmm. how we met and connected and became family. In The Challengers, you know, Tashi is such a superstar and it can be said that her character has so much drive mm. and determination. Like, how did you approach portraying such a dynamic, complex character like this? And what aspects of these real athletes did you draw upon to bring Tashi to life on the screen? Well, I think it's understanding, like, the more I, um, I learned about tennis, the more tennis I watched, the more players I understood, like, the more I got into the psychology of of what it must be like to be a tennis player. I mean, mm -hmm. it's an incredible amount of pressure um, and mental fortitude um, to be up there. There's so much, so much at stake, and like every point is is crucial. You know what I mean? Um, and the kind of focus that you have to have to be up there in front of all these people, and um, and stay in it, and not let all of this get to you when like. You can go from winning to losing a match in the, in, in moments. You know yeah. what I mean? It can it can change. So um, being able to keep your composure, being able to stay focused, like all those kinds of things are things I really really admire, and things that I think Tashi likes to present in herself. She likes to present as someone who is incredibly controlled and focused and always in control and and composed and all these things. But ultimately, I think she's she's a mess. She's like... It's like a beautiful mess. Yeah, she's like yeah. falling, up, ripping apart at the seams, you know, and she's just doing whatever she can to like hold herself together and her life together. Yeah. You know, how or have you ever 
been in a crippling experience similar to Tashi and how did you find your way back to yourself again? Um, I've had uh, maybe different kinds of instances or, or moments in life that have felt that way. Um, and I found for me, you know, I think something that, that Tashi doesn't do um, or doesn't feel that she has the space to do is like grieve and yeah. like, um, and be in kind of her own pain and, and actually heal and grow from it. And she just feels like she has to move forward and, and persevere, um, which I think a lot of women feel or a lot of black women feel that they have to do. And so I think for me, it was about, um, in, per in my personal e existence, it's about like allowing yourself, you know, the grace to feel bad. Yeah, and you to know? just feel. To just feel. Um, and also knowing that it's okay to like reach out and like be like, yo, I'm not doing so good. Yeah. <laughs> like I need some help, you know? Yeah. Uh, because we ultimately, we can't always do it no. on our own. Sometimes I need a break, <laughs> a nap. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> you also produced in this film, which I loved. So like, what was something that you were most intentional about that you wanted to see in the film? Um, I think for me, it's about, you know, from, it's about being creative and, and having a seat at the table creatively to do yeah. that. Um, and I think, you know, luckily I have a director that is always would be welcome to that either way, but you never know yeah. <laughs> how people will, 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 will take your ideas. Um, but I think ultimately like, you're in service of the characters, of the material, of the vision of the director, mm. wanting to help realize that in, in whatever ways and making sure that you protect yourself and, and your fellow actors along the way. I love. Now, you know, something that I did have a lot of conversations with my friends is, we were like, is she like a hero? Is she an anti-hero? So I want to ask you, do you think Tashi is an anti-hero, anti-villain, a villain, or a hero? I think she's all of it. Okay. I'm every woman. Good answer. Okay. Okay. She is. I think that all the characters are. You it's know, all in like her. it's not as <laughs> it's not as easy. It's not as black and white as good guy, bad guy. You mm -hmm. know, it's 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 nuanced, and I think that's how human beings are. Yeah. So she's just she's all of it you know she's empowering she's also like not <laughs> you know she's devastating she's um cruel but she's sensitive and fragile and sweet and she's mean and she's um composed and she's messy she's just like a walking contradiction yeah. and i think that's what's interesting about her I feel like this is one of your most complex characters. Oh, thank you. Yet. And I think what I'm happy about is to see you in such a space where it's like, wow, this is so different and I want more. Mm, you thank know what you. I do want more of for me and to hear Zendaya? Mm. There's a scene, you're in the alley, okay? And the strut, they, well, yes, <laughs> the smack was insane. I yeah. loved it. But the strut you did when mm. you were walking away from him was just everything. The bob was bobbing. The bob was. It was here, you know, baby. Shout out to Kim Kimball. Hello. I want to know, you know, who did you channel when you were hitting that strut? Because I channeled you this morning in my Chelsea boots, walking around, Period. pretending my little Bob was here. Love. So who were you channeling in that scene you walked away from him? I don't, I don't know if I was channeling anyone other than Tashi. I think she was just okay. walking away. Mm. And that's how she walks away. Right. You know what I mean? I was letting her take over in those moments. I mean, also, I just did a scene where I'm like slapping this man and like <laughs> saying all kinds of crazy things to him, you know? So I guess maybe that energy continued um, into this walk. And I always thought it was funny because he was like, we're gonna carry your whole walk all the way down. We're gonna like dolly um, with you as you, as you walk out. And um, it's gonna be in slow motion. I said, okay. Okay. Say less. <laughs> Maybe we can walk Zinday, right. okay? Thank you so much. Thank Did you have a good time with us today? I did. Thank you. Listen, Thank you guys, you. make sure you go see the challengers. It is going to be in theaters. Please go see it. Zendaya is so good. Thank you. And if you don't see it, I may have to smack you. <laughs> I don't want to do that. <laughs>